All right, welcome back to another round of Instagram reviews where I tear down or review your Instagram accounts and share a few tips and strategies and things that I would change for your Instagram account. All right, on today's, we're doing Pizza Freak UK. Now, if you want me to check out your Instagram account, head over to Instagram, either thebruceirving.com or Smart Pizza Marketing. Shoot me a message. I will add your account to the list. And in the next episode of the show, I will try to pick somebody from said list and do one of these Instagram reviews. So let's go into it. I want to make these short to the point and very sweet. What I look for when we're doing these Instagram accounts is I look at the bio. Can I tell easily what you do and where you do it? The content, obviously, that's very important. The consistency, the hashtags you use. Are you incorporating video into your marketing and also then stories? That's what goes into a good Instagram account for any business, regardless of what your business is. All of those tips that I just gave, all of those things that we look at are all important. The only difference is the content goal for you is going to be different than a pizza shop if you're a, if you're a hair salon or if you're a, a furniture store. The content is going to be different, but the goal is going to be the same. So let's take a look at the bio right here. The bio, it says Pizza Freak UK. It's right off the bat, it gives the address, eat in, take out, and delivery. I'm assuming this is the phone number. Now, I am in the uh, Boston area. This is the UK, so the phone number is a little bit different, but I'm assuming that is your phone number. Uh, freak freakily perfect crust and original toppings at Uber Eats UK and at Deliveroo. I'm assuming that these are the places you deliver from. So here's what I would do. I would swap these two. I would put this on the top and put this on the bottom, and I would make it more bullet-pointed so you can easily read it on a desktop. Because if you are looking at this, it's a little confusing for somebody like me who doesn't know what all this means, and it's a little jumbled together between the address and the eat-in takeout. I would make this one line. I would have this the second line. I would have this the third line with your hours of operation and your phone number, all bullet-pointed out, kind of like what mine looks like here. All bullet-pointed out, laid out, so if I'm looking at it on a mobile device, I can easily see that. And then, screw these guys. I... You can put them there that they deliver, but I wouldn't tag them. All you're doing is giving them exposure. I would not do that. And then your website there, perfect. The only thing I would add to is like your hours of operation. It says eat in, take out, and delivery, your phone number. Put what days you're open, what hours of operation you have. That way, if someone stumbles upon your bio, they can kind of see if it's a right time or you're even open for that particular day. All right, let's go. Next one, content. As I scroll through here, I think your content is good. I can tell that you're taking this with your kind of like your phone and and you're do, doing it yourself. There's not like a big corporate company. Sometimes these photos have a corporate-y feel to them and they, they're cold and not inviting. But I can tell you're taking yours. You're doing a good job with the content. I like it. Let's go to consistency now because that's the next thing here. This was 19 hours ago. Like, I like this one. The only thing you're missing here is the hashtags. I don't see any hashtags happening here. All I see is your Easter pizza coming from Wednesday to Sunday, and that's it. You need to add a little bit more. These, these platforms, like Instagram, they want watch time, and they want people to stay on the platform. So the more you can add in the copy and add hashtags to get exposure, the better off your posts are going to do. But I like this content. I like that. It's good. Next one. I like this photo here. Um, again, when you're, oh, let me hop back over here, back onto my screen here. So I like this one here. I, again, would make this. Remember, people are looking at these not on a desktop like I am right here. They're looking at it on a tiny, tiny phone. And all of this wording together is going to make it really hard to read. You can space it out now on Instagram, whereas before you would have to do that on a different document and then copy and paste it. Now you can just put spaces in here and make it easily readable. You want to make it easily readable too. Cause if I, a person like me, if I stumble upon this, I ain't reading all that. It ain't happening. I'm just not going to read it. But if it was spaced out one word per space in a format where I could easily scroll it, I'm going to do that and I'm going to stay on there. So I like the content. I would fix that in the, uh, you're back to the hashtags here, which is good. 22 hours ago, this is three days ago, six days ago, six, two in one day, seven, April 2nd, three days, same day, four days off, two, 24, 29, 17, 13, 11, 11, 10, 
before. I would love you to be a little bit more consistent. I can see you're trying to grow because you're following 2,200 people and you have 1,800 followers. So obviously growth is a problem for you. Not a problem, but growth is something that you want. And I would love to see you post every single day. A huge mistake operators make is even if you're only open from Wednesday to Sunday and you're off Monday and Tuesday, they don't post on Mondays and Tuesdays. And this is only when you're in growth mode. You can easily put in your bio that you're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, but that way you get people wanting to come to you on Wednesday when you are open again. So I would love for you to be a little bit more consistent. And if you're in growth mode every single day, you have to post every single day. If you are in growth mode and you want exposure on Instagram, you have to, as a business, post every single day. If you don't do that, you're saying to yourself you want growth, but you're not actually doing what's necessary to get that growth. So you got to post every single day. Hashtags. I saw one post you were using hashtags, one you weren't. Here are some hashtags here. I would love to see those two in the first comment. That way it makes it a little bit easier. See, no hashtags here, and this doesn't work. So you should just put, instead of this, you should just put link in bio because you can't click this, and no one's going to copy and paste that. Uh, again, here you go. Perfect. Your hashtags are in the first comment there. I like that. Hashtags back in there. Leads, leads pizza, love leads. So you're doing hashtags pretty good. Like you're not using the same hashtags. I can tell that you're putting them in there on your own. You're not copying and pasting them. I would love to be a little bit more consistent with them. And just remember, when you post something to Instagram, it's got the, the, the content itself, the photo or video, the copy, which is the words you put, and then the hashtags you use. All of it goes together. You need to make sure that every single post, you maximize the potential reach that you can get by forgetting hashtags or uh, making the copy too hard to read. Yeah, you're getting it done and you're checking it off the list, but you're not really doing it as good as it possibly could be done. And that's going to hurt your reach in the long run. And what are we doing this for? We're all doing this for reach because we want to get more customers. Uh, video. I saw one reel here, but I can just click on this button here and see how many reels you've done. You've done one there, one there, one there. Listen, Instagram wants video and reels are giving tremendous organic reach right now, I would love to see you incorporate more reels into your marketing. And I know these videos, by looking at this, I can tell this is old, um, and you're not doing a tremendous amount of video. So if I was you, I would do video and, uh, video and a lot of reels right now. This reel right here got 900 views, 1,100, 5,000, 3,000. 9,000, 1,800, you only have 1,800 followers. So that means these are getting more exposure than people are following you. So that sends you the signal right there that you should be doing more of it. And then stories. I'm going to click on the button up here and see what we got for stories. If my computer works. I don't know if that's, is that even, oh yeah, okay, it's a story. This is the video you did down bottom, the reel, a little bit more into that. I like it. Detroit style pizza, my favorite. Actually, the pizza looks pretty good too. So I like what you're doing on stories. I, I like that. I think you're doing a good job. Is this all at one time though? 22, 22. Yeah. The only thing I would say is you kind of want to make sure that you are incorporating your stories in the top spread out a little bit, but I think that you're, you're using them. So you're doing a great job. Keep it up. I like what you did for the stories. I think that you did a good job there. So here we go to recap. Let me pull this back up. This is my recap. I would make sure you're doing more reels in more video for your content. The content that you are doing is good. Keep that up. I actually think you're doing a good job on that. I would make sure that you have the copy spread out so it's easily readable. I would adjust your bio a tiny bit because I think that you're doing a decent job there, but I think it could be more easily readable if you spread it out a little bit. I would be more consistent with your content, maybe one every single day, and you can do it from the desktop now, this little plus button up here. You can add content, so that's not an issue if you're not in the office or, or if you're not on the road or you don't have your phone on you. You can easily do it from the desktop. Uh, make sure you're using the hashtags in the first comment and make sure you're maximizing your reach. Maximize your reach on every single post. Think to yourself, what is the point of this post? And then maximize it. So that way, if you do spend money on ads, at least you know you maximize the organic reach. You did everything you possibly could to get as much organic reach out of that post. And I don't think you're doing that at the moment. So thank you so much for tuning into this. Smash that like button. Let me know if you want us to review your Instagram account. You can leave it in the comments below, or you can head over to Instagram and tag me. I am at the Bruce Irving. I am at Smart Pizza Marketing. And don't forget to not miss the latest episode of our podcast, the Marketing Club podcast, which you can see in the comments below as well. 
Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.